I'm here to see APAF. It's going to be fucking great. Yeah. Describe the music for me. Um, well, it's melodic, it's folk influenced, it's absolutely brutal, and it's uh, everything that I love. Any particular uh, track or album that uh, stands out for you? Um, I'd say Black, Blackwater Park, Drapery Falls, Harvest, um, and then Deliverance, obviously, and Ghost Forever. Reveries, the new one, was not disappointing at all. It was well good. It's wicked. And what are you hoping for tonight? Anything in particular? Um, yeah, I'm just hoping that they're going to uh, sort of really go for it and uh, sort of can't wait to get the gig started, you know, go into the pit. It'll be great. The open, they're just brutal. It's a brutal attack. You just can't wait. You don't know what to expect. It's just like, ah, and death, and death. And it's just like, uh, and it's classical and folk, and it's just like everything mixed together. And when you see them, it's just like, oh. Okay, it's a, bit, it's a bit unusual to mix folk and, and metal and all that kind of thing. Explain that. But Opeth do it so well. It's just this combination. They put a bit of this and a bit of that and they crunch it together. And it's just like, oh. it's just, it's just an onslaught of just carnage. You just can't, you just don't know what to expect with Opeth. It's awesome. Just awesome. And what are you hoping for tonight? Anything in particular? Anything off Blackwater Park. Anything. I'm... I just, I just can't wait to see them. I, I'm just going to be in my elements going, yes! Opus are amazing. They make me feel emotions. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know. What else should I say? Well, describe the music. Why do they appeal to you? It's like romance and cigarettes. <laughs> that is it. I don't know. And, and sex as well. <laughs> that is open. <laughs> I don't know. They're just, just great. They make me... Happy. <laughs> Can you tell me where you've come from and why you're here? Uh, actually, I've never seen Opus, so this is my first time and hails from Kazakhstan. From Kazakhstan? Yeah. That's a long way to come. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm actually like standing here, so like we don't we don't get all those bands over there, so this is like a perfect chance to see them, you know? This is the first time. Hope to see Opus. Really cool shit. Okay. Now, how did you get into them in the first place? Um, well, actually, like I just bought a CD, you know, just by uh, like uh, like my friend. He told me that Opus is like very good progressive death metal, and I like bought it and I got into it. Really, really satisfied. Awesome man. The, well, probably one of the best bands ever. And uh, is there anything, any particular track or album that appeals to you? Um, probably uh, the album called Still Life. Uh, I don't think there is a single uh, bad song on this album, and I think this album is simply perfect. Uh, no flaws whatsoever. And what are you hoping to hear tonight most? Uh, probably go, um, Ghost Traveries and Still Life and Blackwater Park as well. Uh, my all-time favourite album. I live here in London. Um, I've seen Opeth perhaps four times before. Um, I've got most of their albums. Okay, and how would you describe uh, the music? Uh, it's kind of heavy but clever. They, they combine so many different styles and dynamics. It's, Really exciting. Okay. Any particular track or album stand out for you? I think the, the track I love the most is Deliverance. It's got kind of so many different movements in it and, um, and, and, and the amazing kind of end bit where I just want to join in and sing. Fuck Opeth! I don't know who they are, I'm here for free! <laughs> it's true, it's as true as it can get. I'm sure they're lovely and all but fuck Opeth. So what made you come down? It was just a free ticket? It was because a friend of mine had a ticket going spare. It, so I'm telling you, it was death metal with melody, so I couldn't really stay away. What are you hoping for? Oh, Deliverance, off the Deliverance album, very good. Uh, what about Reth? Do you know if they can play that? That's a wicked song. Is My fourth side album, yeah. Okay. I'm hoping they're going to play some songs off the new album. It's very good. Okay. What appeals to you about the band then? Well, instrumentally wise, they're amazing. Uh, all of their songs are very long and uh, very... The drummer, spot on. My mate Carl, who's not here tonight sadly, he would have loved to have come. He couldn't afford to play, but see the band. But, uh, okay, anybody else in the band that, uh, that appeals to you? You've mentioned the drummer there, is anybody else? Singer, I think he's amazing, both uh, vocally wise. Um, he can both put on a performance, both singing, and uh, shouting wise, which I think is very talented. Do you live in London? No. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. For the <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not originally. It's about the 
Okay, so uh, can you tell me why you've come to see the band? What appeals to you about the band? Perth, because they are fucking good. Good band to see. I've seen them twice before, and I want to see them again. Okay, and uh, can you describe their live performance to anybody has, who hasn't seen them before? Who hasn't seen them? Uh, at times, very chilled out, but then like busts into something very epic. I, that's all I can say. It's fucking really good. It's quite unusual to mix metal with kind of acoustic melody and folk and that. It is, it is. Um, it's hard to describe Opeth. Very progressive. They're pushing it forward. Um, and that's why I love them, you know. You've got to keep, keep it fresh, you know, and that's what they do. So. Can you tell me why you're here tonight? Oh, you tell. To see Opeth and Paradise Lost. Yeah. We came all the way from Greece and Cyprus. Okay. And what, what appeals to you about the band? Jimmy, you do the doggy. They rock. <laughs> okay. Any particular track that you're hoping they'll play? Black Rose Immortal. Yeah, I would like to listen to Black Rose Immortal. It's, a, it's an old song, but uh, I still love it. Okay. Have you come especially from Greece just for this? Yeah, of course. Can I just ask um, why this band appeals to you? Because the dark edge, I guess, yeah. but it's the sort of dark sound to them. The individuality of them. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Don't you... hear a lot of it in England. But it's quite unusual, isn't it, mixing uh, acoustic with metal and mm. folk. Can you, no, can you explain it to well. somebody who doesn't know it? Uh, it it's um, a double-edged sword of sort of hardness and softness together, really. Transitions. Uh, mixing, and, yeah, mixing yeah. the two and making melody out of something Some heavy. metal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there any particular track that you're hoping for tonight? Um, well, there's quite a few. Bleak, yeah. Um, well... How many can we go for? All yeah, of them, all love them all. Yeah. yeah. Any particular a member of the band that stands out for you? Well, Not lead singer. <laughs> His voice just does it for us, yeah. OPEF have been one of my favourite bands for about a good couple of years now. Uh, quite inspirational to many musicians and many bands who are kind of out there. And yeah, basically, it's come down for that reason and they're awesome live, so yeah. Okay, what appeals to you about the music? Uh, the music itself is very progressive. It goes through a lot of different time signatures. It makes a lot of transitions from like acoustic prog rock to uh, black metal, a bit of death metal, and um, it's quite experimental with its sound. It's not just like another metal band, you know, and stuff like that. So it kind of stands out. Okay. Yeah. Any particular track that you're hoping for tonight? Uh, a particular track that I would like them to play, which probably isn't going to happen, purely because it's like a 20-minute-long song. Uh, it's called Black Rose Immortal. It's off their second album, Morning Rise, but. Uh, It'd be cool to hear it live, I think. I've never heard it live before. So. Can you tell me uh, why you're here? What appeals to you about the band? Um, I went to um, Download this year and I saw them there and they were amazing. So I've come again um, tonight to see them because they're brilliant. So, yeah. Can you describe their music for me? It's, oh, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fantastic. What can I say? I just, he's amazing live, absolutely amazing. His voice is just, it's just fantastic. And um, it's so different. He has... Um, slow music as well as, as heavy stuff and I like the, the transition between the two, it's fantastic. How many times have you seen them? <laughs> and this will be my second time. Out of all the members of the band, which one appeals to you? Don't ask me that question, the they all look, no you can't say that. They do, they all look the as same. I, I, I can't answer that question. Love the hair. I just love the hair, the hair. <laughs> No, what is it about the look? Is there anything about the look in particular? Part it's just of rugged. So I like rugged. <laughs> rugged men. Rugged. <laughs> what a terrible interview. I'm sorry. Open okay. Floyd and Metal. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I've always liked prog music. I won't touch that. Okay. I've always liked prog music and Opeth are the fucking the death metal of Pink Floyd and it's just great. And I fucking love it. And that's why I'm going in there now. I'm not going to wait outside with you guys. I'm cold. I want to go see some bands. Here we go now. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, can you tell me why you're here? What appeals to you about the band? Sorry, what band's playing? I thought this was Fallout Boy. Oh, I'm going up. I want to talk about Mike Ackerville. He's just the greatest guitarist in the world. And he's got a... Just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Opeth, they better play Blackwater Park tonight, otherwise I'm going to be really disappointed. And he's joking. Cheers, Mike, you're the greatest. And Martin Mendes as well, greatest bass player in the world. And what appeals to you about the band? Uh, the fact that they're fucking amazing. They're probably one of the best prog metal bands I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, and uh, from what I've seen, Mike Hagerville is probably the nicest man in metal ever. That's pretty much it. Okay. Um, <laughs> is there any particular track that you're hoping for tonight? Uh, yeah, but I've not heard them play it, and that's Funeral Portrait. Please. 
please play it. I know you can't see me now, but you know. He's an Opeth virgin. I'm, I'm not an Opeth virgin. I've seen him a few times. <laughs> What's the live show like? How would you describe the live show? Fantastic, fantastic. Um, I've only ever seen them with the most respectable live audience ever. Everyone just sits and watches them in awe because because they fucking rock. And uh, just looking forward to some prog metal tonight. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thanks be nice to hear, be nice to hear, uh, Harlequin Forest as well. Harlequin Forest. That'd be a nice one. I like the uh, I like the mixture that they have with the different kinds of sounds and the way that it seamlessly flows from one to the other. It's absolutely awesome. It's like very few bands that you've ever heard before. Yeah, it was a friend of mine first introducing to me and we were just blown away by just the sound of it. It's kind of the feeling they give you inside, uh, don't know, you, you just never never really I don't know, it just captures a feeling with inside. What's it like being in the audience? Somebody said there that the the audience often just sit and watch in awe. What's it like? I think, to be honest, it, it is a lot like that just because the intensity of the music and, you know, if, if you look into, like, Mike Eckerfeld's face and you can see that, you know, and the way he interacts with the crowd, you can see that he's totally into it as well. It's absolutely awesome. And uh, we're on. Opeth rule! Ah! Ah! Opeth! Yeah! Fucking Opeth! Yeah! I'm here to see Opeth. And it's going to be in a fucking awesome metal night. That's all I can say. So how, you've seen them more than once. How did that compare tonight? It's better every time. Seriously, it's just it's incredible. You, you think they can't do out, outdo each other, but they do every single time. It's amazing. What did you think of it tonight? Yeah, um, actually, I'm here for Paradise Lost. I went 1,000 miles from Vienna. And yeah, Paradise Lost is the shit. Yeah, it was really good actually. Nice to actually see them finally playing big venues rather than tiny little shoeboxes that they have in the past over here. So. Yeah. Okay, what was the highlight? What was the, what was the highlight? Uh, well, Demon of the Fall, really. But <laughs> how did it yeah. go? Well, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good was it? Lighter, Apple! <laughs> it doesn't use your scale. Can I have a lighter, please? <laughs> Later. It's fucking amazing. amazing. It's so good. It's the third time I've seen them now, and they've, got, they've got better every time. I was there for the Shepherd's Bush King, and that was just phenomenal. What was the highlight tonight? Everything. Highlight had to, had to be when their first track when favorite track. Went amazing. Yeah, I just oh, I absolutely love them. They're just oh, that was just amazing. I just reckon they should have played more stuff from Harlequin for, uh, from uh, Ghost Reveries, but absolutely amazing. And the highlight for you? The highlight for me was probably Bleak. When he started, when he started singing melodically at the chorus, absolutely genius. Window pane as well. And window, window yeah, pane. window pane. That absolutely was just amazing. Oh, blew me away. So, what was the highlight for you? Highlight for me, Demon of the Fall, probably. Love that song. Vocalist, obviously, great, great charisma. Yeah. Why? Just sort of, he talks to the audience. I've, I've been to very few gigs where he actually listens to what the audience has to say, which is really good. Sort of like the interaction. It was uh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, best, one of the best concerts I've ever seen. Okay, and the highlight tonight? Highlight. Um, probably Opeth. Well, definitely Opeth. But uh, I'm a big Paradise Lost fan as well. So, ooh, a bit okay. from there. But Opeth, definitely, yeah. Probably one of the best bands in the 21st century. Uh, any, any, any particular band member stand out for you? Uh, not really. I mean, the band as a whole really makes, makes the music. So... To me, they're probably one of the most intelligent bands in the 21st century. In the highlight for you? Um, fucking Under the Weeping Moon, Night in the Sign, well, any old stuff. Like, I fucking love all of it well, anyway, me, but like... You know what I mean? What makes this band different? Fuck that cunt. What? What makes this band different? Um, fuck. Uh, just everything. They're fucking... Oh, I don't know, I can't put that into words, man. Okay, Demon of the Fall, end song. There's no ending of a song which is better than that. It's the best way to end a concert ever. No competition. No, dude. Fuck that, bro. Blackwater Park. Bleak! Blackwater fucking Park. Bleak! The whole set list. The whole set list. Go for it. What a great set list. You've got old stuff, you've got new stuff. Demon of the Fall. Whatever you want, man. Whatever you. It's got everything. Perfect. Yeah. Couldn't be better, man. Couldn't be better. I just want to say it was an honour to be here tonight. Like I found out about this earlier on, like, and uh, I didn't want to miss it because I can't wait for this DVD to come out. And like, I mean, Australia fucking loves Opeth. They came last year and they absolutely tore the place apart, man. And like, I was there to witness that. 
and uh, like I'm here for support again and I just swear to God like these guys are just fucking unreal um, yeah no it was great it was great it was fucking best show I've seen in a long time venue was fucking unreal too first time being at the roundhouse and yeah like what can I say I'm just fucking I'm just gobsmacked like it was absolutely fantastic tonight I have something important to say Opeth played the roundhouse the roundhouse is a really really important venue and I'm really really impressed that they played and I want to say thank you and encourage more bands to play the roundhouse and the fact that the roundhouse actually put Opeth on in the first place is pretty cool like the roundhouse has a huge history um, of contemporary art and theatre and everything else and it's very very cool and unusual that, that they've actually been included in this um, yeah I don't normally make these sort of comments but I, I felt it was important and I wanted to say something so there you go thank you Opeth and you fucking rule <laughs>